Hello and welcome to a video on algebraic notation and what I mean by notation is the language we use in algebra. Now let's start off with something that doesn't involve any algebra. So let's say we've got 4 plus 4 plus 4. Now hopefully you can all work out what this is but what, you, what, what I want you to think about is how else could I write 4 plus 4 plus 4? Isn't there another way of expressing this? And hopefully what you're thinking about is that this is three fours being added together, which is the same as three times four. So four plus four plus four, we can rewrite as three times four. Now let's think about if we were to replace the fours with letters. And now let's say we've got A plus A plus A. Well, another way we can write A plus A plus A well, we've got three a's being added together, so that is the same as three times a. Three times a. All I've done is I've just replaced the fours with an a. Now in algebra, we can simplify this even more. Mathematicians are very lazy people, and in algebra, we wouldn't write three times a. We would just write three a. We would just write three a. So what I've done is I've just removed the multiplication symbol. Let's do another example, but this time, instead of having a number multiplied by a letter, let's say we've got two letters being multiplied together. So let's say we've got A times B. Now, just like here, to get our answer, to simplify this, we would just remove the multiplication symbol, and that's exactly the same here. So we would write A times B as just AB. So if you see AB, that just implies multiplication. So this is A times B. And the order doesn't matter. So we could write this as BA. AB is exactly the same as BA, and the reason for that is because multiplication is commutative. The order we multiply things does not matter. 2 times 3 is exactly the same as 3 times 2. But the reason we would write it like this is because A comes before B in the alphabet. So generally we write uh, our letters in alphabetical order. Let's do one more example, but this time, instead of having two different letters multiplied together, let's say they are the same. So let's say we've got A times A. Now, how would we write A times A? And to think about this, think about if we had, if A was a number, let's say A was 3. So 3 times 3, you can all work out what 3 times 3 is, but another way of thinking about 3 times 3 is this is the same as 3 squared. Okay. 3 squared is just 3 being multiplied by itself. So a times a, we can do exactly the same. That is going to be a squared. Let's do one more example that combines everything that we've done so far. So let's say we've got 4 times a times 2 times b times a. Now we've got a lot of numbers and letters all jumbled up here. So let's think about how we can simplify this. Now, the first thing to do is just to group the numbers and the letters next to each other. So let's just, the order, remember, I said it doesn't matter. So I can just move these around. So this is the same as 4 times 2. Now let's group all of the A's together. So times A, times A, and then we've got times B. So all I've done is I've just moved everything around. So I've got the numbers next to each other, the A's next to each other, and the B on its own at the end. So let's do 4 times 2 first. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, and we're multiplying that by a times a. Well, a times a, we said at the beginning, was a squared. And now we're multiplying that by b. So we've got 8 times a squared times b. And then just to finish this off, remember, in algebra, we don't like including multiplication symbols, so we can just put the numbers and the letters next to each other. We can just squash them all next to each other. So this is the same as a, a squared, b. So 8a squared b is our final answer. And just like I said before, we could also write this as 8b a squared. So these two things are exactly the same, but look, I've got my a before my b. So this isn't wrong, but it's just not good practice to write the b's before the a's. Okay, so it's over to you now. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can simplify these eight expressions and write them using correct algebraic notation. Okay, so question number one, four times C. Well, we've just got a number and a letter being multiplied together. So we just squash them together and get rid of the multiplication symbol. So that is the same as four C. 
Now, question two, C times D, we do exactly the same thing. We just put the letters next to each other. So we would write this as C, D. And if you did write D, C, that's still technically correct, but generally, remember, we put them in alphabetical order. Okay, the next one, three times five times C. So let's do the numbers first. Three times five is 15. So it's 15 times C, which we would just write as 15 C. Now let's do this next one, question four. So again, let's do the numbers first. So we've got two times six, which is 12 times C times D. So we just write that as 12 C D. We just get rid of all of the multiplication symbols. Okay, the next one, C times C. Well, if you remember, this is the same as C squared. So C squared. Okay, this next one here, well, this is C times C, which is C squared. So it'll be C squared times seven which is just seven C squared. Question seven. So we can put the D's together. So D times D is D squared. And then C times C is C squared. So it's D squared C squared, but remember we like to write things in alphabetical order. So if we put the C's first, it's C squared D squared. Okay. Now a lot of people would write C squared times D squared. And remember we don't need that time symbol. Okay, c squared d squared implies c squared times d squared. Okay, and the last one, question eight is a bit longer. Let's do the numbers first. So we've got nine times four, which is 36. And now we've got c, so 36c, and then we've got d times d, which is d squared. So it's 36c d squared. Now, before I round this video off, I just want to point out something that is really important. And that is that whenever we multiply a number and a letter, we always put the number first. Like you, you can see here, here, well, in all of these situations, actually, in all of these situations, I'm always putting the number before the letter. So, for example, if we had C times 2, we would not write that as C2. We would write that as 2C. And there's a really important point or a really important reason we do that. Because let's say we did write the letter first. Let's say we would write C times 2 as C2. Okay, now there's a really big problem with this is because it looks close to something. It looks close to C squared. Okay, these two things look quite similar to each other. So these two things are obviously completely different. C squared, we know that C squared is C times C. But we haven't got C times C, we've got C times 2. So we always write the number first so we don't have to deal with this ambiguity here. So let me just cross all of this off so you don't get confused. So we always put the number before the letter. So hopefully you found that video interesting and it's really important to understand the notation that we use in algebra so that whenever you see something like this, you know what this means. You know that this means 36 times C times D squared. In the next video, we're going to do something similar, but we're going to include division. I'll see you then.